Sporadic conclusion body myositis, most common cause of muscle pain in patients over 50, a disease that has no effective treatment, may be to some extent a clinical expression of gluten sensitivity. When this gets bad, when they have muscle pain so bad, that's the only ones that make it in and get the diagnosis, and what do they get? Steroids. Steroids. But no effective treatment. Steroids don't work for these people. Transglutaminase are not the only antibodies present in celiac. Antibodies to actin are very, rela are very related to the severity of intestinal damage. Remember actin? Actin and myosin? You remember actin and myosin, right? The components of muscle? 90% of patients with total villus atrophy have antibodies to actin. 90%. Where do the myopathies come from? You've got permeability, you've got antibodies to actin causing the breakdown of the shags, but you've got permeability, so the antibodies get into the bloodstream and they're looking for actin. They look, oh look, over there, there's actin, that's a quadriceps. <laughs> Still actin. <laughs> and you get antibodies now against your quadricep actin. And then you damage, the antibodies fire cytokines that damage that actin component in the quadricep. Now you've got a damaged cell. Now the immune system gets activated. You've got to get rid of that damaged cell. And now you make antibodies to quadricep muscle directly. Are, are you with me on this? Wait till I talk about antibody testing. The mechanism of muscle damage in these cases is likely to have a similar immunological basis as is the case in other extraintestinal manifestations of gluten sensitivity. And look at the title of this one, myopathy associated with gluten sensitivity, not associated with celiac disease. The spectrum of abnormalities seen on muscle histology suggests that gluten sensitivity associated myopathy may have diverse pathogenic mechanisms, but that muscle inflammation is a common feature. Here's what it looks like. Now remember a muscle bundle is full of fibers, right? The fibers are all the same size. They're supposed to be about the same size in a muscle, in a muscle bundle. All the fibers, it's like a telephone cable. Big cable, underground, going into the subdivision. The wires are all about the same size, and they go to the individual houses, but they're all about the same size, right? And so these are the muscle fibers stained for lymphocytes. None of those are supposed to be there. The woman that had deep bone pain, pain with laughing, 22 years old, do you think this is what she had? Of course it is. 